What's up and welcome guys, my name's Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and behind me here you can see a beautiful rice field. So Taiwan is home to countless rice fields like this. But little did you know that lurking deep within the rice paddy lies a creature so ugly and so bloody yet so delicious that we decided to make a full video just about this. So what we are looking for today can easily be found at your local morning fresh market. And we have just found a spot selling it and that is the Asian Swamp Eel. You can easily locate a spot selling the eel because of the massive amount of blood that is produced from the eel. So this is a finless eel and like I said, you can find these in rice paddies but also in swamps. So they're kind of a creepy looking creature but I have heard they are very delicious. produce so much blood and the problem with it is that the blood is actually poisonous so even a small amount can cause cardiac arrest in humans so it's very critical that chefs cook it properly and then mix with your stomach acids it actually neutralizes the toxins so what I have heard is the best spot in all of Taiwan to eat this eel is in Tainan. So that is where we're going right now. As I said, we have come to Tainan to come to a very famous restaurant called Ajang Eel Noodles. And this is supposed to be the spot to have some of the best and Tainan is famous for this dish. There is always a line outside of this restaurant and reasonably so, it is extremely famous to have the eel noodles here. And you can see a mountain of the cut up eel right outside the kitchen and we are just going to watch the chef do his thing. It's a pretty incredible sight. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
come all the way to Tainan just to try this very famous bowl of eel noodles and I've been waiting a really long time to try this. So let's check out the bowl. We just ordered up our first of two dishes. So this is the more wet version of the noodles and we have these nice looking egg noodles and of course tons of these big chunks of the eel and it looks and smells amazing already. So I'm gonna try out some of these uh, egg noodles first. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's actually quite sweet. And mm, he, he makes the soup or the kind of broth. He uses a potato starch and he mixes it with water and it makes it this really thick kind of creamy consistency and those noodles are nice and like firm egg noodles. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay let's try a piece of eel then and these are big chunks like check that out that is actually quite a meaty chunk of the eel. Oh yeah let's try it. Mm. Oh, whoa. Wow, that's really good. He actually stir fries the eel by itself, so it kind of has like crispy edges, but it's really soft fish at the same time, but it's coated in that like sweet sauce that he's made. Oh, this is a really good bowl of noodles. Mm. I can also taste like some vinegar. A little bit of like sour acidity. Yeah, this is a good bowl of noodles. So our second bowl of eel noodles has arrived and this is the, he only serves two different kinds and this is the second kind. So this is the more dry version and there's a small amount of soup broth in it and he's also put some huge pieces of entire cloves of garlic. And it looks like this kind, you can see some chili peppers, of course a ton of eel. This one might actually have more eel. And then I think he's also sprinkled quite a lot of white pepper on top. Some onions as well, so let's try that. Start with the noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I think I like this version better. It has like a really smoky wok flavor. And let's try one of these pieces of eel. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Super crispy, but also at the same time soft. A little spicy from the chili peppers, and has a really strong white pepper flavor. And then the garlic in there is also extremely good. Mm, this is a good spot. Really busy, hectic, but hole in the wall and awesome food. Okay, this is the spot for eel noodles. Definitely worth waiting in a little bit of a line. This is awesome, and I'm surprised that there's so much eel, and I'm surprised it's spicy because you don't often get that in southern Taiwan. So let's try one more big chunk of eel. Oh yeah, this looks like a good bite. Oh man, almost like chicken, because it's a little firm because it's cooked in hot, hot wok, but at the same time, it's so soft in the inside. Eel is a really incredible fish, actually. Just finished off with our two bowls of eel noodles, and they were both amazing. I think I preferred the drier kind, just because the flavors were a lot stronger. It was really spicy and a lot of pepper flavor, but this spot is awesome. Definitely come try it out if you are ever in Tainan. It's such a cool restaurant right on the side of the street, sitting on some little stalls and watching the chef prepare the dishes so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you next time bye bye